I propose to you now, we will go through uh, three examples, uh, through three different types of technologies, uh, be it augmented and virtual reality to start with. Then we will look at uh, the impact of Internet of Things in two different contexts, and then uh, Hermine will give us the view uh, of the regulator. So I call now uh, Marco Janmat that will present his views on, on what he's doing, by the way, as an entrepreneur in augmented and virtual reality, and what he thinks the impact will be. Marco, the floor is yours. Hi, all. Um, I'm Marco Yamat. I'm founder of a company called VRAL. And uh, the company basically does two things. One, we build VR and AR applications for companies, and we help to implement them into the organization. And two, we have built an urban planning tool, which uh, allows us to generate uh, 3D maps from geographical data and translate them into virtual reality. So we can show people their future environment. We can show what happens if a windmill is placed into their environment. We can show what happens to the traffic. And um, from what I experience uh, in my personal life, I see that technology has a lot of impact uh, on your personal life, especially if you see uh, business models like Airbnb, you see business models like Uber, uh, we see the usage of smartphones that have grown the last past 10 years, and now we can't even live without a smartphone anymore. Um, but if I see the experience from my professional life, I notice that working with governments in urban planning and working with municipalities, um, we are always busy with the current status of technology. So we are always looking at, okay, how should we regulate or handle the current fields of technology or how should we regulate it or handle the current playing fields. And the moment we try to talk to them or open up and connect with them on a level to see, hey, what, where are we in five or ten years, um, there's always quite a big gap between the technology world on the one hand and the governance world on the other hand. And to give you, I want to, just want to give you a small example of that. Um, who of you expects to have a smartphone in 15 years? So if you have a, who of you expects to have a smartphone in 15 years, please raise your hand. Okay, okay I see half of the room. So the other half. What, have you ever thought about what is going to replace your smartphone? So. From what we know is that this discussion, okay, how is this replacement of smartphone going to look like and how is this going to impact me? Um, I want to give you a small example. So uh, I work in the augmented reality industry and augmented reality has the possibility to replace all the digital screens we have now. So. Currently, we have built up a digital system with screens everywhere. You have an iPad at home, you have a computer at home, we have two televisions, we have a projection board. But in the future, with augmented reality, we have the possibility to place this digital information and show it just via glass. So we don't need all this physical hardware. Because the, the awkward thing is that all this physical hardware it's just when it's not displaying any digital information, it's just standing there. It's just using resources. It's actually a fatal flaw in our digital system. Um, so basically what Augmented allows us to do is that we put on the glass and instead of seeing our phone or taking our phone or looking at a screen, we could literally just say, okay, we open our hands and we could display the digital information in our hands. We could literally say, okay, tonight I want to have my television this big and place it on the wall. But if you're starting to think in these constructs, it also brings a lot of elements to that. So, okay, who owns this digital space? What if you would walk through a street and all this advertising would come into your face? So, this, these questions... Uh, that on the one hand live inside the technology world, okay, how are we going to shape this world? How is the augmented reality world 
going to look like on the one hand, and governance, how are we gonna regulate this? I think there's a huge, still quite a gap between that. And I hope like in the future and with these type of conferences, we can bring that together. That was awesome.